Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates San Diego Comic Con 2014 exclusive X-Men Days of Futures Past box set. So this is a box set that was sold at the San Diego Comic Con back in July, and it is based off the X-Men Days of Future Past storyline. Now obviously this is the comic and not the movie. The set features Future Wolverine, Future Kitty Pride, Future Sentinel, which is just kind of a sentinel, and Mystique. So really cool. Um, when this first was announced, I was kind of eh on it, but then I saw some of the stuff it comes with, and hey, I got excited. And it is a cool looking pack, and it's a good convention set because it's based off of a popular storyline that a lot of casual people probably just heard of. It's got Wolverine. So there's an instant hit. Anyway, packaging-wise, it's red. X-Men Days of Futures Past. Mini Mates. Four characters. You can see some comic art in the background. You got Wolverine and Kitty Pride, and all the portraits. And you got Wolverine and San Diego Comic Con International Exclusive. Four characters on the side. And the roster on the back. Like I said, you've got the Future Sentinel, Mystique, Kitty Pride, and Wolverine. I really do think the packaging is really cool because I do like how you've got the portraits of the characters from the original cover on it. Speaking of the original cover, actually, what Diamond was also selling at the convention center was an exclusive cover print for the Uncanny X-Men number 23, I think it is. And it's inspired by the Days of Futures Past. And obviously done in the mini Mate style. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this was also sold at the convention center. It's pretty nice. I mean, this is the second one they've done. They did one for a Spider-Man issue a while back. But this is... It, it, I mean, it's just a cover. It is nice looking, though. But it's it's just the cover. So you can see mini Mates stuff. But on the actual inside, it's just the actual comic... What is kind of nice, though, is that the back is an ad for Minimates, which is kind of cool. It's the uh, best of Marvel Minimates Wave 3, which actually isn't out yet. The best, never rest. And then it's just a little read-up saying Series 1 and 2 available now. Series 3 coming soon. This is Series 3. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to talk about this, but I am super hyped for this wave. I mean, I think the whole top row is just fantastic. Really excited to get a new Iron Fist and a new Luke Cage, because we've only had, what, two? And the last one was from, like, 2004, maybe? But anyway, this doesn't really have anything to do with X-Men. So, here's some X-Men. In the not-too-distant future, nearly all mutants have been captured or eradicated by the robotic Sentinels. To avert this reality, Wolverine and the other imprisoned X-Men must project Kitty Pride's mind backwards through time into her younger self so she can prevent Mystique and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants from assassinating Senator Robert Kelly in the present. First up we have Wolverine. So here we have Wolverine from the future. I know a lot of people on the Minimate Multiverse were not looking forward to this Minimate because it's another Wolverine and it's kind of a plain design and most importantly I think it was because of the jacket. Now, in the comics, the jacket is a lot shorter than what it is on the Minimate because this is a reuse of Street Fight Wolverine from the Wolverine movie. And honestly, I actually really like it. I think it makes the overall jacket just kind of stand out a bit more. And I guess it makes sense because this is a Comic-Con set. And Diamond usually doesn't do much new tooling, because if they don't do a lot of new tooling for a Comic-Con set, it makes the set cheaper to produce and easier to get out. And hey, I'm not complaining because I, I actually really like this Wolverine. I mean, I am a sucker for a cool-looking Wolverine. I know we have a lot, but if we get a cool Wolverine, it's a cool Wolverine. Um, but yeah, he's got a brown jacket gloves for his hands. He's got his claws, which are really nice. Black shirt, he's got a belt. Blue pants. Now, if you're confused because you've only seen the cover for X-Men Days of Futures Past, you would know he has brown pants on. But in the actual comic, they're blue, so thumbs up for Diamond doing their research. Would have been kind of nice if they included an extra set of legs so you could have the cover. 
but oh well. It's got a little bit of a holster, but it's not like a functioning holster because actually the set was originally going to have Wolverine with a gun holster and he was going to include a gun. You can even see the place for it in the tray. But Marvel was like, we don't want that. And I guess it's understandable because I don't remember if Wolverine actually used a gun. So we just get this little thing. It, it, it's not bad. It's, I mean, it works. And then the face. It's our standard growly Wolverine oh, with white streaks in his hair. And that right there is the cool part. It's, it's a normal Wolverine face through and through, but the white streaks really just make him stick out a lot more. And honestly, it is really cool. Two thumbs up for me. Now, like I said, a lot of people aren't going to really care for this Wolverine since it's just another Wolverine, but I don't know, something about it. I really like it. Anyway, articulation-wise, Wolverine can do pretty much everything. And accessory-wise, he comes with nothing but a display stand. Overall, while Wolverine isn't anything special, he's still really cool. Next up, we have future Kitty Pride. So here we have Kitty Pride from the future. Ooh. Kitty Pride is sporting her civilian clothes from the comic. And it's it's okay. I mean, it's bright orange and bright purplish pink, yellow shoes, a little bit of a collar. The jacket piece is a reuse of Peter Parker from The Amazing Spider-Man 1. Very simple, no real detailing at all other than the sculpting of the jacket piece, which is nice. Like I said, yellow shoes, very simple. And we have the face, which accurately enough shows a horrified Kitty Pride. I would be too. Um, hair pieces are reuse of something, I'm pretty sure. I'm just not sure what. I can't really recall anything it's from. I'm just gonna assume it's a reuse from something. Eh, it's not bad. Articulation wise, Kitty can do pretty much everything. Head's kinda hard to move without it falling off though. And that's okay, because. Accessory-wise, she comes with a display stand, as well as a whole bunch of extra parts. Because what you can do is take off the jacket and reveal an extra detailed chest piece. And it is actually a Sentinel Imprisonment Camp uniform. And here's Kitty Pride with the completely different outfit. I mean, wow, like, I know Diamond's been doing a lot of hidden mini-mates underneath big bulky mini-mates, but... This is, this is kind of crazy. I mean, it's a completely different figure. She even has a new hairpiece, which is a reuse of Aunt May from one of the Spider-Man waves, which is really cool. I mean, it's just different. It's completely different from what she was like before. It's kind of crazy. Though I do prefer the original outfit, just because you can pose her with Wolverine and do the whole cover reenactment. Yeah, as, as it is, it's actually a really cool hidden feature, and because of it, it, it really makes the mini a lot better. Overall, Future Kitty Pride is a good companion for Wolverine. Next up we have the Future Sentinel. Or just kind of the Sentinel, because it's just a normal Sentinel. What I do like about the Sentinel is that it's quite large compared to the first mini Sentinel, and this is actually normal Sentinel, so... I mean, it works. Like, if you compare it to Kitty Pride, I mean, it, it's taller than her, so that's good. Detail-wise, it is quite nice. Um, the classic purple and purple look. Chest detailing's pretty nice. A little Sentinel belt stuff. Gloves. There are reasons of something. I can't remember what. Boots. And we got the crotch piece, which actually is just a single block. Um... The little headpiece is a reuse of the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Sentinels. Just take it off, and we get a better look at the Sentinel's face. Pretty nice, just a Sentinel's face. I mean, can't really go wrong with it, and it's kind of nice because on the back we have detailing! Hallelujah! I love it when my mini-mates give me back detailing on their heads. Articulation-wise, the Sentinel can do most of the normal mini-mate things. He cannot move his feet at all, since they're just big, like, boot pieces. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty movable. And accessory-wise, we got a display stand. A flight stand, so you can have your Sentinel flying. Make it even bigger if you want. Or, they include an extra damaged Sentinel face, which is just the normal Sentinel face, but with the right eye taken out. Very nice. And it even has the back detailing, which is super cool. 
So you can have your Sentinel actually look like it's been in battle. And that is how I'm going to pose it, because it looks heck of a lot better. Very nice touch. Overall, the Sentinel is pretty cool. It's a nice army builder. Finally, we have Mystique. So, here's Mystique. This is a classic, good old Mystique. Last Mystique we got was the first class Mystique, which is the Jennifer Lawrence Mystique, so... It honestly wasn't very good, and I don't have the very original Mystique, so... This is the first ever Mystique I've gotten, and it's probably one of the first some other people have gotten, too. And I'm really glad they threw her in. I'm not a big fan of Mystique. I don't think she's the most important character ever, but for me, this is a character I didn't have a comic version of. So, this is good for me. It's very good. Anyway, detail-wise, it's classic Mystique. You can see she's blue all over, which is very nice. Um, she's got a little bit of strapping for her dress. We've got the skulls on her little dress piece, which is very nice. Got her chest, hair piece, which is not a new piece, I don't think. Probably should have looked up beforehand, but I'm pretty sure it's old. And the face, it's really nice. It's got her big pouty blue lips, no pupils in her eyes, and she's got her skull, which is cool. Now, articulation-wise, Mystique can do pretty much everything, because she is almost entirely vanilla, and the skirt piece, I mean, does not inhibit anything. Accessory-wise, she's got a display stand, as well as something very cool. First up, she has an extra headpiece of Senator Robert Kelly, which you can either do one of two things. You can put on her body to have Mystique turning into Robert Kelly, or you can take a body, so I have here the extra J. Jonah Jameson body, you just put it on, and you have a fifth mini-mate for this set. You have Senator Robert Kelly himself. Hairpiece is nothing new, but we do have white sideburns. He's got glasses and an angry face, bushy eyebrows, just a grimace. It's very nice. Very much like a politician. And I just think this was a great added bit. But we're not done, because Mystique comes with a second extra head of Mystique turning into Senator Robert Kelly. I mean, I suppose if you wanted, you could have this head on the body, but I think I'm probably going to display it like this so you can see Robert Kelly freaking out over Mystique turning into Robert Kelly. Overall, Mystique is fantastic. So, overall, that was the Marvel Mini Mate San Diego Comic Con exclusive X-Men Days of Future Past box set. Really cool box set. Um... I really enjoy all the figures. I think they're good. Very crisp, clean detailing on all of them. No real quality control errors on any of them, which is very nice. They're all bright and colorful, which is cool. We've gotten a lot of dull, darkened, colored mini-mates in a while since we've gotten a lot of movie mini-mates. It's nice to have something new with comic stuff, and overall, I just think it's really good. Cool. I really like all four of the figures. I think Wolverine looks very nice. I like the white in his hair, just how cool it is. I like Kitty Pride's accessories, and I love the expression. I like the extra head with the Sentinel, it makes it really stand out. And Mystique, since I don't have the original Mystique, I mean, this is good because I have a Mystique now. <laughs> and the extra Robert Kelly head is very nice. Since we get technically five mini-mates in that Robert Kelly head, you can make a Robert Kelly. Now, let me know what you guys think about the set in the comments. Um... Did you buy the set? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I personally, like I said, I love it. I think it's great. But anyway, did you like the video? More than rate, comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you later.